How's it going out there, YouTube? My name is Jesse, and I am back for another Golden Age video. And since we're going back to the 1930s, let's put a little style here. Yep, there we go. For this Golden Age hero, we are going to be doing a quality comic books hero. But the most interesting thing about this is this hero did not actually start in quality comics, even though he was a hero in quality comic books. I'll get into that. So we are going back before the age of super-powered superheroes, all the way back to 1936. Let's get this video started. The clock's first appearance was in two comic books at the exact same time. Funny Pages number 6 and Funny Picture Stories number 1. They both had the same cover date in 1936 and was published by the Comic Magazines Company. The clock would appear on a number of their other publications such as Detective Picture Stories and Keen Detective Funnies. In 1937, the Comic Book Magazine Company would be purchased by Ultem Publications. They would go into financial difficulties and they would sell the clock along with numerous other characters to quality comics. Ultem was purchased after that and renamed Centaur Publications. Despite quality owning the rights to the clock, Centaur would still keep publishing some of the early stories. The clock's real name is Brian O'Brien. He would make his first quality appearance in Feature Funnies number 3 in 1937 and created by George E. Berner. His last appearance would be in Crank Comics number 35 in 1944. The clock may have even been the inspiration for Will Eisner's superhero, The Spirit, which came out in 1940. The, the clock is an accomplished hypnotist, ventriloquist, pilot, boxer, chemist, inventor, investigator, safecracker, vocal mimic, and a master of disguise. He's also trained in criminology and knows the law because he is a former district attorney. He would team up with two people that would discover his secret identity and he would work with them. An ex-boxer named Pug Brady, which, who appeared in 1940, and an orphan girl named Butch Buchanan, who appeared in 1942. The clock would go after dangerous public enemies such as Scar, Sizia, the Screw Gang, the Skull Gang, Baldy, the Owl, Velvet, Marcone, Silk, Brazo, and many others. The clock had a bit of a dark side and was not above using vigilante justice. He had a torture chamber in the sub-basement of his base of operations. This torture chamber had an Iron Maiden, a rack, and a hotbed of coals, all of which he used. He also had a specialized rat cage built, where he once threatened to let the rat eat through one of his captain's abdomen, if he wasn't given the information that he needed. He also once shot down an airplane and found the parachuting tail gunner who had a number of bullets in him and beat a confession out of him. Along with being as violent as he was, he was often very reckless. He once deliberately caused a fatal head-on crash to kill two fleeing suspects where he had leaped out of the car at the last minute. On more than one occasion, he would leap out of his airplane into the airplane of the enemies just to make them, um, just to 
bring them into justice. This cost him more than one of his airplanes doing this. Along with carrying a gun, the clock would use a number of gadgets. Some of these gadgets included a cane where the head of the cane was a projectile and a diamond stud that fired tear gas. He would also leave a calling card that would read, The clock has struck. In 1956, Quality Comics would cease operations and their characters would all be acquired by DC. DC would not renew the rights for many of the quality characters the clock included and all of them would fall into the public domain. In 1992, Malibu Comics would put out 20 issues of a comic called The Protectors. Um, they have had many superheroes that were from the Centaur comic book lines. The clock was included among them. In 2013, Dynamite Entertainment put out an eight-issue miniseries called Mask with several pulp and comic book characters as part of the series. Looks like this guy was a lot of Batman before there was a Batman. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making this one. I This one took me by surprise. I wasn't originally planning on doing this. So tune in, and I'll have another Golden Age video soon. Until then, I'll be seeing you.